by Jackie Ina for sending her a hey auntie with the heart emoji, so are we like not allowed to call her auntie anymore? I'm gonna talk about how I've been un auntieing my public persona, if you will. I'm growing into the next stages of my life and I'm gonna be looking at other people who have done it already, but they see me as their elder, but they're really my elder. Who is the big sister to the big sister? When you're young, being mature, it's like a flex, right? It's like a real flex. Then you, you get to your mid thirties and you start looking back at what are supposed to be your youthful years and you're like, wait a minute. So I've just been an adult my whole life. So I've just been wise my whole life. Mm -mm, I'm reclaiming my time. I just woke up one day and I was like, you know what? Wisdom it's not my entire personality trait and also i don't know everything the people that are looked at as like aunties and you know the people that you want to be when you grow up when that person makes a misstep or when that person does something that's like slightly less than perfect it's judged typically 10 times harder it's hard for people to see you as a real person i never really got to be young my childhood was terrible we ain't doing no story times on that one then i got to my 20s and it's like i had to be five years older than i really was then you get to 30 and everybody's treating you like in your 40s and i'm just like ah! You get to protect your youth and enjoy yours, let me enjoy mine now. Everybody that is watching this and cannot relate to this, I guarantee you, you have a friend in your group that is that person and behind closed doors is probably not doing that great. Go check on that person. I guarantee you the person that you think has things all figured out is literally going through exactly what you are, but are probably just better at coping out loud. A lot of people did ask me if I'm younger than you, I'm 23, I'm 21, do you mind if I call you auntie? And it's still a hard no. And it actually makes me a little bit sad because these are people that are at the age that people started calling me auntie. How how come when I was that age, I still had to be? Why couldn't I be young when I was actually young? Online, I just don't want to be treated like everybody's older anymore, you know? I don't. Even people that are older than me. I'm truly, truly moving into a new phase where I'm just like, yeah, I feel my age and I actually kind of want to enjoy it. So cheers to making my first smoothie and I will see you guys on my next video. Bye. I feel like we need to respect her wish, okay? I understand typically what she is saying because I also did not have the smoothest life and I was literally taken, I did not really enjoy my youth as I wanted to. I was what other people wanted me to be and ultimately I became that and I literally had no choice. It was like, take that or... you know so i kind of get it and sometimes people weaponize that and they don't really you know want to actually they don't use that in a good format you know it's like um i'm using it to gain something from you and um like she said guys respect what she wants she doesn't want to be called auntie and i feel like it's weird also to be calling her auntie auntie for what i don't even want to be calling her auntie like no stop it okay don't call me that i have a problem even younger kids calling me you know coco coco is like great great something you know the younger ones are coming up and i'm like i don't want that i want my name please okay stop it stop it i don't like those titles there will come a time where i can just flex on Edmund. but now please please i'm like her. i understand what she's saying i don't want that okay you know just there's certain grounds where i can understand it but like i work with children and i'm i'm like i'm like yeah i can make exceptions with them sometimes in a work setting environment just to make them comfortable but outside of that i'm sure they will never forget me as they will never be able to call me by my name because i never allowed that and they don't want them calling me by my name so for that i can make an exception exception and I, listen guys i am not fluent in english okay this is why you're gonna get some mishaps and mishaps and then i make mispronunciations i can't edit them i don't want to because i still want to keep that relaxed flow as if i'm still on tiktok okay thank you goodbye as i'll see because <laughs> people do check me out on that and they call me out on my mispronunciations and say well you fix that da, 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 da. I know I'm not English, okay? Can you spell can you spell masapahau? Can you spell that? Can you say that also? Masapahau? Can you? No? Then fuck off. As I was saying, don't call me auntie. Auntie. It's not my time yet, please. Okay? 
she rushed into things and now they're coming back to bite her i just got blocked by jackie aina for sending her a hey auntie with the heart emoji so are we like not allowed to call her auntie anymore because i could have sworn we were we were calling her auntie before but and she should have and i'm gonna answer as to why you possibly got blocked the jig is up I think a lot of you are not using auntie as a term of endearment like you say that you are. You're actually using it to weaponize the term. And also be mean. I know somebody gonna come in the comments talking about in my culture. Mm -mm. Put it down, put it back. We're talking about the US of A. We're talking about black American culture. Not all of our business is your business. We are talking about what is customary to the United States. And y'all know good and well, it's not customary to call someone that is 10 years, or in the original poster's words, a smooth decade older than you, an auntie. You mean to tell me when you was five years old, you was calling 15-year-old people in your lives auntie? Or when you 45 years old, you're going to be calling 55-year-olds auntie? Exactly. That don't even make sense right there. Mm -hmm. To bring it back to the point about how y'all like to weaponize that word and how we are just now kind of seeing that a lot of y'all be lo being low-key shady about it, the minute that a woman is presenting herself as something that you don't like, whether it's a dress that's too big, her shoes are too clunky or a little bit dated, her wig is too stiff, the first thing y'all say is it's giving auntie. And I know you guys aren't meaning it in a term of endearment. The auntie thing, as much as y'all want to pitch it as if y'all are trying to be kind and nice about it, y'all not. And I think a lot of people, a lot of content creators that I have been seeing discussing this know this as well. Y'all trying to be shady, and it's almost like you're trying to put that person back into a place that is outside of the place that you are in. So I'm glad that she blocked you, and I'm glad that that's the time that she on. Personally, I block people all the time for almost anything. And I tell you, I have never in my life ever commented on a Jackie Ina post, ever. I mean, ever. But here's what I did do. This girl made a video basically saying that Y'all are mad you can't call her auntie because y'all don't want to see a, a black woman be rich or something like that. And I just said, you're reaching. She portrayed herself as a rich auntie on YouTube for years. Some people didn't get the memo that she didn't like being called that anymore. So let's have a little grace for the creator that called her that. Like, y'all are dragging her. She just didn't know. It's not that deep. Y'all act like Jackie is Beyonce. Let's calm down the thought of jackie scouring the comments of these auntie videos just to find people to block is kind of like okay girl go steam a sheep <laughs> i am mad though i block people for less do y'all remember when oprah said that she didn't want to be referred to as auntie and like the black internet got her together for it let's actually talk about it in the black community we use familial words like unk auntie sis to describe people that we may not know as terms of endearment but also as a sign of respect and this is something that i think spans across the black diaspora i have a west indian background and we'll call an older woman tanty as a form of respect it's like acknowledging that you are my elder and so with that being said i understood why the black community had such a knee-jerk reaction when oprah said i don't want to be referred to as auntie because we saw it as you're rejecting our love and you're rejecting us trying to show respect for you and when it comes to the jackie Ina situation about being called auntie i believe that she said multiple times she does not want to be referred to as auntie and as somebody who is just now starting to understand some of the effects of being somewhat public facing it gets really unsettling to notice people forming some type of parasocial bond to you where they might feel like you're their best friend or you're their sister or auntie online when you literally don't know these people and you may have no interest in holding that type of space in their life it's really hard to have boundaries as a content creator or someone who's constantly putting themselves online for public consumption but i think jackie does a really good job at letting people know that this is what i do and don't like this is what i will and won't tolerate and if you cross those boundaries i have the right to block you i think what's worse than this girl calling her auntie despite jackie's wishes is her coming to the internet with a sense of entitlement that she should be allowed to call her whatever she wants and jackie doesn't have a right to then remove her from her platform and this is a topic for another day but i think in general people and other black women see us as communal beings that aren't allowed to have boundaries and we just belong to everyone as a family member or a friend and we don't we don't jackie is 36 years old why you would want to keep calling somebody that's 36 years old and auntie is befuddling me 
But I wonder, is it, do, do you require that title of her? Because you can't imagine that somebody five to 10 years, your junior or senior has amassed such notoriety and wealth that they can only be auntie status and not your peer. Look within, you might be able to find the answer. Thank you.